Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has recently announced a couple of major changes. If you're an Outlook user and signing into Outlook using a personal account. So if you are using Outlook and like myself are using a personal account, then you may find this video of interest. Now, first of all, this was all announced uh, in this post, which I will leave down below in the description because there's quite a lot of meat in this post and quite a lot going on. But just to give you the so-called uh, main changes for the purpose of this video, uh, if you would be interested. And first of all, starting the 16th of September 2024, Microsoft says Microsoft personal email account users. So that would be, and as an example, Outlook.com, Hotmail.com, Live.com will need to move to modern authentication methods in their email application. And this will be necessary, they say, for all Outlook users. So what this means is that starting on September 16, Microsoft say they will no longer support basic authentication, which is the method in which a person provides only their username and password to sign into their account. So as of the 16th of, the 16th of September, Outlook will require all those with a Microsoft email account use a mail or calendar app or the Outlook.com website which supports modern authentication such as the latest versions of Outlook, Apple Mail or Thunderbird. Now the reason for all of this they say is while basic authentication was the standard for quite some time it also made it easier for what they say bad actors to capture a person's login information which increased the risk of those stolen credentials being reused to gain access to a person's email or personal data. So with modern authentication methods Microsoft says they apply additional back-end process and, and or tokens that users may not notice that add an extra layer of security. Anyone who is attempting to use an application which does not support modern authentication will no longer be able to access their Outlook.com, Hotmail or Live.com email from those applications. So that's the first change. And they say the easiest way to make sure you are ready and using modern authentication is to download one of the free Outlook apps for iOS, Android, Outlook for Mac, Mac or Outlook for Windows. And if you are using Outlook 2021 build 11601.10,000 or higher, um, you will not be affected by this change. So just take note of that. So quite a bit of important information. But as mentioned, you can go check that out uh, in this website, which will be down below. So that's the first change. And then the next change is that Windows Mail and Calendar apps will move out of support in 2024. And we have spoken about this previously. And Microsoft says this is because of the evolving cyber threat landscape and their commitment to providing the most secure email experience to their customers. So the Mail and Calendar apps will no longer be supported or available in the Microsoft Store by the end of this year, 2024. And obviously, um, what Microsoft suggests in this case is that um, you move, uh, if you are using the Mail and Calendar app, is that you move to Outlook for Windows as soon as possible. And obviously, yeah, that would mean the new Outlook which is also becoming the default email client on Windows um, 11. And we have posted about that previously on the channel. So just do a search accordingly if you'd like some more information. And then another change uh, is the light version of the Outlook web app will no longer be supported after the 19th of August this year. 2024 and basically what Microsoft has said about this is they have decided to retire the light version of the Outlook web app so after 2024 you will need to run the latest versions of a supported browser to run Outlook.com and just by the way if you want to know what those supported browsers are if you scroll right down here near the bottom as mentioned this uh, website and post will be in the description here you can see browser minimum requirements to run Outlook.com and operating system minimum requirements. Now, even above that, they also talk about um, uh, additional Outlook feature retirements. So they're also going to be retiring the following Outlook features. And I'm just going to mention these again. The first is the ability for people to access their Gmail accounts in Outlook.com via the left rail as of June the 30th, 2024. So basically, um, users on Windows should use Outlook for Windows once again, which will enable them to use their Gmail accounts seamlessly because as you may well know, you can integrate uh, your Gmail account into the new Outlook for Windows as an example. And then the next um, additional retirement 
is they say due to their deprecation of Cortana, all services that depended on Cortana are also being deprecated. So for Outlook mobile users, that means that Play My Emails and Voice Search will be deprecated by the end of June 2024. And they finish off the blog post saying they are taking these actions to ensure that um, they are able to continue to best serve their customers and to keep their data as safe as possible. Now, some would say this is due to security reasons. Others might say this is because they are trying to push the new Outlook app whatever it may be, but those are the changes coming. As mentioned, this um, post will be down below because it's got a lot more information, but I just went over the kind of key changes um, for the purpose of this video if you would be interested. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.